Welcome to the very first Great Canadian Aptron. The event's 48 hours. Yes, 48 hours. So at 6 p.m. on Sunday, we're gonna finish. The event has two parts, so this is important. You have the 48 hour coding, which is now until Sunday. And then the second part is on April 7th. The top three teams will travel to Toronto, Young and Dundas Square, and battle it out in front of live judges on a big screen in the square to be named the Great Canadian Athlon Champion. Simplicity in gameplay is, 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 is very, very important. And in this world, especially in the mobile phone development world, what people are looking for is those three, four minute experiences. When you think about a subway experience, right? 15 minutes and people are having business plans about trying to take Seinfeld and put it onto the mobile experience. Well, people don't want to watch half a Seinfeld episode on a subway ride. They want to spend three, four minutes in, you know, playing a game, two, three minutes in IM. They're surfing their app experience. And a few weeks ago, we wanted to test out this concept in a hardcore way. So what we did was everybody internally got together in little groups, spent 48 hours and hacked together their own dream game concept. Because one of the things in a game company is that everybody has their own ideas for the next game, right? So the game that emerged from all this stuff was Cows vs. Aliens, and the concept was so simple. All it was was that a multi-touch interface where you can push things around, herd them into cows or push the aliens off the cliffs. So that was created in 48 hours, and two, three weeks later, right, we published it into the App Store, and this thing went to top 50 paid in the US. Keep it simple. If you think about Angry Birds, you're flinging a, an object over a physics and based environment. You know? They didn't even invent the gravity environment. That's Box 2D, guys. You know, that's the underlying fun. And in Cows vs. Aliens, you got 5 touch, multi point, 10 touch on iPad. That's it's very simple. Think of what that fun little hook is, build a game around that. So all the students in the competition had 48 hours, which made time one of the most important elements in the overall analysis of their game design and their program. One thing we did do before the competition is that we stacked the website up with tools and references so that the students could accelerate their learning, accelerate their development. In fact, the aggregation of all those tools and the aggregation of all those references was so, I think, well done or well appreciated that we had hackers try to hack into the Great Canadian Appathon site just to get access to those tools. So what we did was we just opened it up to the world. We had a few major criteria to evaluate all the games. So the judges really focused on things like, is the game stable? Is the game polished? Is the game fun and entertaining? Does the game make you want to play it again? And does it give you the frustration level where when you lose, you want to go back and beat the game? I feel good because I actually created an app. It was kind of trying though, I mean, a little stressful at times. It's true. We shouldn't come up with a 72 hour game for a 48 hour competition. We had so many bugs that we were like, oh, we like, oh, we can't. But it was a good experience, like, we learned a lot. We know how to use physics engines now.
Yeah, this is a cool uh, program. <laughs> it's true.